Hello everyone, I'm Cello Tech. Today I want to talk about the vibrato. The vibrato is a vibration of notes. So when you listen to the singers, they have very natural vibrato on their notes. So they don't make the artificial vibrato like oh, 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 oh. no, right? <laughs> I mean, it's very natural. You know, you can listen to another singers. Vibrato has two motions. One is you're moving the forearm like this. And the second motion is you're tilting your wrist. No, not your wrist. Wrist tilting is this, no? So tilting your forearm. So first motion is moving your forearm up and down like this motion. Your shoulder is not moving. It's fixed like this and you're moving only from the elbow to the fingers. Yeah, like this. And the second motion is you're holding something and tilting your forearm. So when you go up, you can see your palm. And when you go down, you can't see your palm. And there are two components uh, in terms of vibrato. One is the width and the second one is the speed. I personally love the natural speed and width of vibrato. So two motions, you practice like this and you are narrow down the width, your movements and press one spot and try to do the same movement then you'll see your forearm is tilting naturally so you don't need to tilt like this all the way but you are moving like this first so I'll show you once more moving narrow down stop but still moving Yeah, but I know uh, when you use this method, the width is very narrow. So you have to mix the movement of the second movement, right? The second movement of tilting. If you want to play the wider vibrato, you have to use all the way, you know, from here to there. Then the vibrato will be wider. So when I practice the piece, at first, I add vibrato to almost every notes. And then for some exaggerated notes or the notes I want to express more, then I make a wider or faster vibrato. So more expressivo vibrato. But, you know, in music, there are always personal tastes. So if you use the components of speed and the width, you can make various color in your music. I want to talk about little tips of vibrato. Everyone wants to make a rich sound of vibrato, right? But when you have a small little fingers, it's relatively difficult to make rich sound. Number one is do not use the very tip of your finger, but use more on this side, like this fatty part. So to make a richer sound, put your finger not on tip like this, but more fatty part here. So not here, but more here, not here, but more like here. Not here, but more like here. So your left hand shape is more like this. Tip number two is when you practice the vibrato, 
So when you put individual notes, you have to make sure all the vibrato sound is the same. Let me play the G on the D string. So you practice the first finger first. this video please subscribe my channel and you'll see more upcoming videos lessons bye